Welcome Republican nominee for Secretary of State Chad Brown to the set. Mr. Brown, thanks for joining us, making that long drive from Gaston County. Well, thank you for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Republican primary voters might remember you from 2020 when you ran a statewide race in that GOP primary for Secretary of State. But for all the new people who've arrived and folks who didn't vote in that primary, who are you? Well, I'm Chad Brown. I'm chairman of the Gaston County Commission. I have been there for the past 14 years uh, as a Gaston County Commissioner. Before that, I was a mayor of Stanley, North Carolina, so I cut my teeth in politics, small town, local politics, trying to get ready for what I want to do in life, and that's try to help people and promote a robust economy throughout North Carolina. So that's how we got into the Secretary of State's race. Before that, I was a professional baseball player for 11 years, and I've been in the business sector for the last 20. So uh, just cutting my teeth around the, the state and trying to figure out how we can uh, meet people and find out what's going wrong in North Carolina and how we can have a solution for it. I want to split up your leadership at the local level, beginning with being Mayor of Stanley, North Carolina. That's an executive position. What did you learn from that role running a small town and do the skills scale, or, or how do you see yourself broadening as an executive? I think as a small town, you really had some chances to, to make some mistakes that you had some oversight with some people who could help you with really good guidance. Um, as you got further into that, um, I, I'll never forget my very first day there, I made a mistake on who waters the flowers. Uh, and so when you think about that at small scale, now all of a sudden you get to uh, local politics as a county level. As chairman, you know, you try to figure out things and how to make the best impact on a county. Um, as you look, we've, we've cut taxes over 30 and a half cents since I've been there. And that's been a big boost to what's happening in Gaston County. But the biggest thing we do there is uh, economic development. And that's part of why I want to take to the Secretary of State's office and try to engage in that facet of business. What have you learned most about being a commissioner on a board of commissioners and then elevating yourself up to be selected chairman? Well, I think when you work with seven people uh, every day to try to figure out a common goal, that there's how you get uh, uh, good governance of what's happening and get a good feel for it. Having a good staff also is a big part of that. When you have a good staff, and I've been a part of staffs that have been uh, a difference of opinion, and when you have a, what my uh, goals and my uh, faith and, and uh, I, I look at as how I guide myself as values, that's how you find. But when you become the chairman of the board, you have a lot of responsibility that's happening. So you basically are guiding those uh, other people along with you to have a, a common goal, but also you have to lead a county to make sure that you're doing the right thing and, and keeping uh, the, the fiduciary responsibilities at hand. I've interviewed a hundred state legislators and all these council of state members in years past, and, and your experience politically clearly slots for a variety of offices. You could have run for state house, U.S. house, state senate, yet you're going for secretary of state the second time now. What about that particular role has kept your attention? Well, I think the biggest part, when you talk about the legislature's uh, uh, influence on myself, I have a great uh, uh, mentorship there in Gaston County, also uh, surrounding counties, Lincoln County, Jason saying was a big mentor to me. So when you get to see about those things and how they happen, it makes a difference. But I want to stay with Secretary of State because of the business aspect. I want to build this and I want to make sure that people understand that Secretary of State plays a big role in what's happening in business. And small business is the backbone of what we do and I want to make sure we take care of those people. For folks who don't follow Council of State very closely and their civics even less, what should they expect out of a Secretary of State's office? Not a Secretary of State or a politician, but as an office, as a body, as it fits into North Carolina government. Well, I think you have to look at it as more than a government official. It's a dedicated public servant to one particular aspect. You're doing the record keeping of the General Assembly. You're also making sure that you, uh, you have the... Um, the administrative duties of what's happening, so businesses, LLCs, uh, S-Corps, uh, the governance over who is uh, lobbyist, sports agents, for instance, is a small one, um, but you also have securities uh, destinations that you have to take care of. So there's many different facets inside the office. Uh, to say that one overwhelms another, I think the, the purveyance of the business of, of North Carolina is the biggest part of that. You're running as an alternative candidate to the incumbent as the way elections go. So what are North Carolinians not receiving from the Secretary of State's office that they would be receiving or you would like to see them receive under your administration? I think, I think building a robust economy, being involved, I think also the technological uh, part just maybe outran some of the uh, 
the, the, the ways and means that we're doing right now inside the office. It's cumbersome when you have to go and it's a 16-week process to open up a small business. We should be able to streamline that and try to figure out how we can uh, work hand in glove with you to make that small business go. You shouldn't be able to pay a small price to be have it expedited. You should be able to do that. If we can expedite it now, you should be able to expedite it when it starts. From your perspective as a candidate, do delays for small business creation to go through the Secretary of State's office, does that problem fall with the staff that's in place there and the employees, or is the system over time just grown bloated so they're following the process, it just happens to be slow? Well, I think the employees inside are doing all they can do. I know there's been a, a work ethic need uh, that has to be kind of a, a sense of urgency, I think, is also needed there. Not saying that these people, because those people do a tremendous job of what they have in the workload. I think the other part of that is we got to have different offices across the state to be able to happen. We need to have one in a regional area, such as in the west. We need to have one uh, down east, because these people are driving, you know, six to ten hours to get to meet with the Secretary of State or someone in the office. And when you do that, you have cumbersome days that need to be taken care of. And whether I is dotted or a T is crossed, those things need to come back and be able to be settled. At, at, a, at an exponential time. So when we do these things and we're trying to fix them, they need to be fixed in person, but we need to have different places so they can do that. From your perspective in business down in Gaston County, how well does Raleigh in general serve the outlying areas once you get, say, outside the triad 120 miles from that radius around the triangle area? I think as you look at myself as a candidate, uh, I'm the only person really from the West, so to speak, as you look at it as uh, a Western type of, I uh, don't think Charlotte and Gaston County is too much West, it's more of the middle of the state, but when you look at it, Raleigh does not really surface outside of Raleigh um, for the people from that area. And Charlotte basically takes over that uh, cumbersome area. So, What kind of leader are you, not only for the North Carolinians who you would serve, but for the people, the hundreds of people who would work for you on a day-to-day -day basis? What's okay. your style? I think the work ethic is, is where I'm going to start. And the reason being, I want to be hands-on. I want to be there. I want to take advice. I want to listen to what's happening. And I think when you listen to employees, I have a thing that we've instituted in Gaston County. We've instituted making sure that we listen to the employees. We even have a, uh, a proxy system that gives you uh, maybe some uh, PTO or something for good ideas that's saving money or doing things that are helping time uh, to be able to fix things. And we've been doing those. We found out that when you, you work with the employee and you help the employee, their, tending, their tendencies to be a family and work together become, become a strong bond. How partisan should Secretary of State be once we're outside of the campaign season and once the need to articulate differences in, in platform and personality? Is this a role where you could see yourself being outward facing, making your opinion known on policy, or do you look inward and run an efficient department? Or can you do both? I think uh, before March 5th, it's very partisan. Right. But once you get after that, you know, you have to be able to, to reach across the aisle. You have to be able to help others. Uh, an entrepreneur doesn't come with a, a D or an R by their name or some other party. It doesn't come, it comes with a work ethic. It comes with somebody who's striving for the American dream. And that's what we have to be able to provide. We have to provide services, but we also have to provide them on a basis of whoever you are, your individuality, you come in. We're going to make sure we strive to help those things, and we're going to become a part of you. We want just, not just for that day. We want to be generational that's happening in North Carolina. I think that's the part we've lost. We lose as many businesses that close up after we open them up. So we have to be able to get them to the next level of generational wealth. How hard has it been to elevate the role of Secretary of State as a candidate to get your brand name out there? You're running against someone who's been in office since 1997. They've won in Republican years, they win in Democratic years. You, you, you've picked a mountain to climb. Uh, we, we picked that mountain to climb because we thought it was the one that best suited for what our abilities are. I think when you look at that and how that's come about, that number has been shrinking every year. But I think at the end of the day, since 1877 was the last time a Republican held office for a Secretary of State, and it was appointed. So we look at now, you know, our, our current Secretary of State since 1997. Um, there are some things I think we could add to, to grow the office, to make it more efficient, but I also think that we can do things uh, to help everyone across the state of North Carolina because, like I said, entrepreneurs, uh, farmers, mm -hmm. all the people who are invested in what's going on in North Carolina, we have to invest back with our people and how we're doing it. So when you ask about the Secretary of State's office and where it's at, it's a hard road, I'll tell you right now. Uh, people look at it, but it's the number four, fourth or fifth in line of what's happening inside the state, and, and it has a vital role. But at the end of the day, uh, I want to be a humble servant. I want to make sure that we do the right thing and we help people. Some of your policies are going to need probably legislative support, if not legislation, to get them enacted. So how do you think you'll manage against uh, 
a House and Senate that are supermajority Republican, but yet have very different ideas about this state on some key issues. I think some of the biggest, that biggest asset that I will have to bring to the table, obviously being a Republican helps, but also I've worked with those people in the General Assembly. I've worked with uh, the Tim Moores and the Phil Burgers of life to make sure that we get things and done. Uh, we've had lots of uh, uh, financial gains that's happened inside of Gasson County through infrastructure and uh, uh, we've had a role uh, so much so that Mecklenburg County comes to Gasson County to ask us to provide help with them in things that are going on inside of the legislature. So. And, of course, there's a much more tight governor's race going on between Josh Stein and Mark Robinson. Of course, Republican, you're supporting, I would presume, Mark Robinson. But working with a Democrat and an attorney general of two terms, if he's governor versus Mark Robinson, the everyman who, who came from the factories of the triad, have you thought about that if you take office? How do you deal with both of those gentlemen? I think as you look at it, you know, whether, you know, let's start first with Mark Robinson, a good friend of mine. Uh, we have a baseball card together. We did a baseball card uh, on, on Taj before we made uh, one for myself and different people across the state to be able to get that out. But Mark Robinson is a, uh, a family man. He's a God-fearing man. Uh, working with him would be great. Um, if someone from the other party were to win, I would also be able to, to cross that aisle to say, hey, let's find out where there's some common goals. Let's find out where the common need for the people, not necessarily what's happening between a Republican and a Democrat. How can we work together to work what's best for North Carolina? And at the end of the day, if we can't work what's best for North Carolina, neither one of us needs to be in that job. Probably a hundred things you'd like to get done. There's probably two or three that you really wish you can get done if you're elected. We got one minute left. What are those three, and what can we expect if voters trust you? Well, I think the biggest thing is working with the small business community. I, I love this. It's my sector that I've been in. Uh, we've been in Gaston County. We've had the best uh, economic development from overseas uh, coming in to help uh, with that. Being working hand-in-hand -hand with that, that's the biggest piece I want. I want to make sure that we bring good companies to North Carolina. We want to make sure the people in North Carolina. We also want to build kind of a hub-and-spoke system. The hub-and-spoke system should have where if you're a widget maker and you're going to do that, you should have to know where these uh, materials come from, how to get to them, how to expedite, how to do these things and do it all inside the state. Put you guys in a silo together and let you guys work together rather than having to go to other states or other countries in order to do business. All right, Chad Brown, Republican nominee for North Carolina Secretary of State. You've given us some copious minutes of your time to discuss your platform. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for coming all the way out here from your, from your home base. Good luck on the campaign trail. Stay safe out there. Thank you so much for having me, and a great show. Appreciate you having me. Mm -hmm. Good to have you.